1979 Land Rover Series 3. This is the 88-inch uh, short wheelbase version. Um, diesel version, this one as well. It's been owned by a, an engineer for the last few years. If you check the description, we'll detail everything he's done to the car um, because he's been right through it mechanically. It's had engine, uh, cylinder heads overhauls, a whole load of electrical work, all the right things you'd expect an engineer to do. But what we'll do on the video to start with, we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. It's finished in that sort of um, retro Land Rover green color, the one that everybody's putting on their new ones nowadays. If we start on this front wing, we sort of look at series Land Rovers and older Land Rovers in a slightly different light because you're going to have the odd little ding and dent here and there. Um, but if you look at this arch, it is nice and clean all the way around. You see no sign of any rust or anything coming through. And if we have a look inside the arch itself, again, nice and tidy in there. Got a nice clean steel wheel. It does have freewheeling hubs on this one as well. And it's got four good, uh, I believe, to be matching tyres all the way around. Um, so it's got Avon on the front uh, and we'll check as we go. Paintwork wise, it's in a nice condition. It wants a really good flat and polish to give it a good shine, but for a defend, uh, for a series Land Rover, really, really good. You've got a little dent just here, yeah, and it does have a Union Jack sticker stat here, um, but there's no sign of any sort of corrosion or anything coming through underneath it. It doesn't look like it's hiding anything sinister. Coming along this sill, it's nice and tidy along there. We're gonna have a good look underneath from here. You can see outriggers and things, battery box and everything all good. Nice and tidy under there. Look at the cross members and things. Around the hinge area on this driver's side, that's all good and tidy. Little mark in the door just here. Um, but like I say, it's a Land Rover, it's kind of part of its charm. If it was on a show car, you'd kind of be a bit upset about it, but don't even notice it on a Landy. Around the hinges on this area, that's all nice and tidy as well. Around the tombstone area, they've obviously been repaired at some point, but it looks like it's been a nice job. And then coming along under the windscreen, it's got sealed up. It was sat outside for a couple of days when it first came here. It doesn't seem to be getting any moisture or anything in it as well, uh, which is always a good sign. Nice and tidy along the bottom there. All the glass is nice and clear. It's not sort of ingrained with scratches or got any nasty tints or anything on it. Roof itself, not being straight. Not sort of caved in or covered in ripples or had anything on it that it shouldn't have done. And around this section, that's all good. Same here. It's got a bit of sealer in there just to keep it all nice and dry. Moving down the driver's side, this section again can be a bit of a issue for corrosion, but as you can see, it's nice and clean all the way along there. It does have a lock on there. We've got the key for that as well, which is nice. Around the filler cap, that's all good and tidy. And again, this arch, nice and sharp all the way around on that lip that bends sort of right the way over. Another good wheel and tire. We've got another rave on on there as well. We'll have another look underneath from here. You can see very nice underneath. And then coming around on the back, around this corner, that's all nice and tidy. All the lights are clear and bright. You've got the light protectors on the main lamps. Um, so you wouldn't expect them to have any craps or anything. They are proper white pack ones as well. They're not sort of cheap replicas. A little bit of a rash on there, which has been sort of cleaned up and painted over at some point, but it looks to be nice and solid. Oh, on this rear section, that's all nice and tidy. And again, a good test is if it can take a fat lad like me standing on the steps. It's, it's a good way to know that they're nice and solid. And then underneath there, again, nice and clean. It's not, it doesn't look rotten or anything like that. All the seals look to be relatively new as well. But again, like I said, it doesn't seem to be letting any moisture in or anything like that. Much the same on the passenger side, nice and tidy along this area. Another decent arch all the way around. Another good wheel and tyre. Another Avon there as well, so that's three out of four so far. Can have another look at the roof from up here. And the glass on this side just as clear as the other side. No real dents or marks in that rear quarter or door. We'll have another look underneath. Get an idea, just out. It is nice and tidy under there. And then again, you've got the Union Jack on the side. Again, if we rub over it, there's no sign of any sort of corrosion hiding underneath it or anything like that. Nice and sharp on that final arch. And another good wheel, and another good matching Avon tire. Coming up onto the tops of the wings. Nice and tidy, the checker plate's been painted body colored on both sides. And then we've got a full size spare under here with a cover, we've got another one in the back of the car as well. Matching light protectors to the back on the front. All the lights are bright and clear. There's no sign of any trap moisture in those. Bumper sits nice and straight. Around the grill area, that's all nice and tidy. 
bonnet's not warped from the uh, from the bootleg uh, from the from the spare wheel being on it, which is always nice. And then underneath there, nice and tidy. I know he's done a whole load of stuff to suspension and swivel joints and things like that. Moving on to the interior, so it's had a new set of seats recently. As you can see, they're in nice condition. They're nice and soft, not too shiny from use or anything like that. They could do with a decent clean, but other than that, very good. Obviously, three seats. A couple of little scratches and marks on the steering wheel, but nothing major. Top of the dash is nice, but we do have a very slight little crack just there. He has fitted some aftermarket gauges, so we've got oil pressure, water temperature, and what is that one? Couldn't even tell you what that one is. There you go. I'll have to find that one out in a clock. Um, but again, being an engineer, he wants, he wants to see exactly what's going on. Floor area, that's nice and solid and tidy. You do have an, a, a, an older style lock there, should you want to use it. And then in the boot, all the spares that he's amassed over the years are all included in here. Got all sorts of stuff. All the right sort of uh, names in there. Brip Part, Rimmer Brothers. There's the old joints that have been replaced. Like I say, full size spare wheel. Um, and you've got these nice cushion sections for the seats in the back. Underneath there looks to be nice and solid on both sides. This is really nicely done as well. Have a good look at the inside of the roof from there. Nice and solid and tidy in there. And then into the passenger side. Again, nice and tidy on the door card. Could do with a bit of a clean in the footwell. It's had a bit of water on from someone's boots or something. The rest of the seats are all good on this side, this side of the dash. It's nice and tidy, or well, for what there is of a dash anyway. And then under the bonnet, you're gonna have to excuse some dodgy camera work. Lifting that with a wheel on and a camera is not easy, as I'm sure you can imagine. There we go. And then under here, like I say, he's, he's done things like refurbished the uh, cylinder head, uh, new injectors, all that sort of stuff. Um, but if you check the description, we'll detail all of that. He's kindly put a list down for me as well. It's got a decent sized history file as well. Uh, farm belts written on there, things like that. Just like a true engineer, exactly what you'd expect. Get started up. So this one is showing, it's showing 16,000 miles. It's fair to assume it's been over the clock, but again, check the description, we'll detail what we know about where it's been, mileage records, things like that. We're going to have a look under the bonnet. Nice and smooth, or as smooth as you're going to get from a diesel series Land Rover. It's been with us a couple of days, it always seems to start on the button. Obviously gives you a little bit of smoke when it's cold, and then soon clears out and runs nice and happy. It was driven to us, it was in regular use before it came here as well. So there you have it. 88 inch Series 3 diesel. If you've got any questions, please let us know. Thank you.